Hey everyone, my name is Fargo and I'm a Wella educator and today I'm going to talk you through how to achieve 100% coverage on 100% white resistant hair and to get a really cool result as well. So I'm going to do that using the brand new shades from Colliston Perfect and they end in a stroke 02. So there's four different levels of them, they end in a stroke 02. To help us do this, I've got my wonderful model, Bridget, here with me today. As I'm filming this, we're in the middle of a national lockdown. So I'm currently working from home in my makeshift studio and the model that I had lined up to uh, demonstrate this look for you today, obviously we can't do it, but Bridget has stepped in and we're gonna have a go at making her look like she's had 100% uh, coverage on her white hair with a really cool result. So as you can see, I have pre-colored the hair to make it look like a client that would pretty much typically come into the salon when we're allowed to reopen. So she's got about an inch of regrowth. We've also put a temporary color on there to show that uh, her hair is pretty much resistant. It hasn't covered. We've got a lot of color kind of going on. We want to make this one even color on the roots and then add a little bit of dimension to the mid lengths and ends. The reason I want to add some dimension to this hair is on more mature hair, when you go for a really, really cool result, sometimes it can make the hair look quite flat and quite drab. So adding that little bit of dimension, some kind of lighter pieces throughout can really show off the hair color, the hair cut, and just bring the whole look to life. What I need to establish now also is the exact color that's currently in her hair so I can match this up pretty well. I'm gonna move uh, Bridget a little bit closer to the camera so we can see. So I wanna match this color up pretty well. I've got this, excuse me, I just dropped it. So I've got this um, shade selector here, which goes through all of the natural depths. So you can see on this side, I'm going to hold it up to Bridget's hair. And you can see there the closest one to it is actually a six stroke O. So this one here below, five stroke O, it's a little bit darker. This one here just above is a little bit lighter. Now this is synthetic, we've got lights here at home, so it might come up a little bit lighter than what you can see on screen. So I know I need to go with something on the depth of a six and she wants something quite cool drop these on the floor. So I've got my double six stroke 02 and that is the shade that I'm gonna use on her hair today. I'm gonna to mix that with some Waloxone Perfect 6%. Now, 6% is gonna help me achieve 100% coverage on white hair. It's also really important that I use Waloxone when I'm using Colliston Perfect. The two of them are manufactured to be used together and they're gonna give me the optimum results and also reliable results as well. Great, I'm gonna get these mixed up. We'll start the application and I'll see you in a moment. Hey, so we are all mixed up. And one thing I forgot to mention actually was I was gonna add a little bit of Wellaplex into my color mixture below um, to help protect the hair's integrity. So it just means in future, um, her hair is gonna be in better condition. So if she decides to change her color, then I'm gonna have less barriers when it comes to actually changing her color. Um, so when it comes to mixing, always mix really, really well. New Colliston Perfect is the most beautiful creamy consistency. And sometimes you can find that uh, you feel like you've mixed it really, really well. When you think you've mixed it really well, mix for an extra minute. Another little watch point is just to scrape along all the corners of the bowl to make sure you're not missing any of the mixture there and that it's all mixed together exceptionally well. So I've got my apron on, I've got my gloves on. Typically in the salon I would have a mask and visor on and we are all ready to go. I've got my tint brushes, I've got a spare here just in case I drop it. it happens in the salon sometimes. And we're gonna get ready to start applying our color. So I'm gonna start applying the color from ear to ear, taking a section, applying the color on the roots, and then start working down along the back of the head in straight lines, making sure that I have saturated the hair with color 
Now, if your client had um, more white hair um, along the front, you'd actually start applying your tint there because it's going to take the longest to cover there. So that is my root colour all applied. I'm going to set my uh, timer now for 40 minutes. I know that a hair is coarse, it's going to take 40 minutes to develop. When that's done, I'm going to remove a little bit of the product with the end of my tail comb to check that it's developed. If I feel like it looks a little bit translucent and could do with more development time, I can then decide if I'm going to extend my development time. But while that's on, I'm also going to add 10 foils to the hair just to give it a little bit of a blended lightness and add more dimension uh, to avoid the cooler root colour looking too flat on the overall results. I have chosen to go with Blondor Plex and Wiloxon 6%. I'm mixing those together in a one to one and a half mixing ratio. So it's nice and thick consistency. Again, I'm applying with my tint brush and I've got my 10 foils. Um, how I'm gonna apply it is I'm gonna take a diamond section through the top. Six of my foils will go in there with a back comb root. But before that, I'm gonna place four foils around the face just to brighten up and bring attention to the top part of the model's face, bring attention to her eyes. So let's get sectioned and applying. So I start off by taking my diamond section on top and then the two sections at the front are just in front of the ears. I'll take a slice, then weave just four foils around the face, applying my lightener to the mid lengths and then feathering up towards the root, being careful not to get my bleach on the previously tinted areas. So for the foils along the top section in the diamond, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and uh, we're gonna kind of zoom in so you can see up close exactly what I'm doing. So we've got the head kind of leaning back here just a little bit. So we're gonna take a diagonal section, quite a thick slice, and then to the area that I'm sectioning out of the way, make sure you're putting your grip um, not where the tint is, but where the natural hair is, just to keep it out of the way, but to avoid um, dragging the tint where you don't really want it to be. So with the section, what we're gonna do is give it a bit of a weave. We want quite a chunky weave with uh, more hair being colored than there is being left out. But 70% of it's being colored, but 30% of it's being left out. Then what we're also gonna do is back comb. So you're gonna take your comb, teeth in, and push up towards the root three or four times. Now, one little trick I have is to take your sectioning grip and push that right up towards where the back combing is and it secures it into place. And I mean, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna come down a lot. So uh, there's two ways of doing this. You can either paint directly onto your foil or if the hair is quite thick, what you can do is paint into your hand. Sometimes I like this for a very thick, very coarse hair. Number one, because we get a really good blend. And number two is because it means it's gonna saturate all through the hair. So if the hair really is extra thick, you wanna make sure your bleach is going through evenly. Take your comb, drag it down through the hair to make sure that we're getting perfect saturation and we don't get any patchy spots. Now, when it comes to getting the blend right, again, there's two ways around this. You can either blend with your fingers up towards the roots. Sometimes I like to sandwich it in between uh, my index and my middle finger, just to blend it up. Or what you can do is use your tint brush to push that color up just a little bit where I wanna see it as well. So when you have that done, get your foil, place it underneath. And this is when you want to clean your hands just to make sure that you're not getting bleach anywhere else on the hair that you don't want. Always have a towel close by. Also clean your tail comb as well. So we're gonna apply a little bit more bleach to the mid length and end. You can already see it's starting to lift. I'm going to really saturate that. Then we're going to fold the bottom third up. Doing this means 
we're not going to have any bleach on the areas of the hair that we want to keep uh, darker. And then fold it a second time and fold your corners in to keep it nice and secure. So I've got three here done to the back. I'm going to do another three to the rest, to the remainder of the diamond section. And then we will let it develop. We'll get it all rinsed and we'll apply our Wellaplex before we shampoo. Great, so my timer has just gone off. Now what I need to do before I rinse my colour off is to check my results. So I'm going to take a section close to the last place that I applied my tint and I'm going to use my pintail to scrape some of the colour off. Now here I can see that it doesn't look like it is a perfectly saturated. It still looks a little tiny bit translucent, so I'm going to leave it an extra five and then check again. So it's been an extra five minutes. I'm going to take my tail comb again and just scrape off some more of that colour. And yes, I can see that's perfectly saturated. You can lift it up away as well and have a little look. That looks perfectly saturated now. Also, with the lighter pieces, they have lifted even more. Obviously, there's some residue from the colour that was there previously, but it's lifted nice and light. We're going to get that rinse now, get our Wellaplex on, and then come back to you afterwards when we're applying the gloss. So, while the Wellaplex number two is on at the backwash for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to use this time wisely and get my glossing service mixed up. So, I've chosen the shade 8 stroke 97 in Collison Perfect because it's a beautiful, kind of cool, neutral shade. And I think it's going to set off those lighter pieces really beautifully against that cooler root. Um, I'm going to mix this. All equal parts with um, Willoxon Perfect Pastels, 1.9% developer, and my Invigo Color Service Conditioner. All three of them together in the same bowl. That's going to go on the hair then for 5 to 15 minutes after we have shampooed. So we've shampooed twice. I applied Blondor Seal and Care all through the hair for three minutes. That's going to antioxidize all the lighter pieces as well as our double six stroke of two tint. Left there for three minutes. I've got my gloss ready to go onto the hair. That's going to develop anywhere between five and 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to develop it visually to make sure that we get that beautiful, cool, level eight um, neutral results. Great, so that is our gloss on now. I'm going to keep an eye on it. We will develop it visually until we achieve the desired result. I'll get it rinsed, blow dry, and then we'll come back to see the finished results. So after we rinsed off the glass, we dried and styled the hair just to show off that color. You can see just how much shine that glass really has given to the color. So to take a section out from the back of the hair and show you just how well that the hair has covered down. So we've got 100% coverage right there on the depth of a six. It's nice and cool. This is mannequin hair. I know how difficult it can be to colour. It can end up looking patchy sometimes, but Collison Perfect really is your best friend when it comes to white hair. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. I really enjoyed creating it for you. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Also feel free to suggest any other videos that you would like to see us creating for you. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions for me personally, head on over to Instagram. You'll find me at Fergal Wella. Also follow at Wella here for all the latest news and Wella products. Thanks for watching.